Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'm going to answer a question from one of our listeners that asked the following. Do I need to get the EIT certification in order to be able to get my PE? I already passed the FE exam, but I'm just wondering if I can skip the process of actually obtaining the EIT certification. This Pass the PE exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. The EIT License and Certification is a professional designation that you receive after passing the NCAAS FE exam or Fundamentals of Engineering exam and completing a degree from an ABET accredited engineering school. It's kind of like the trophy you get for passing the finish line, if you will. And EIT is an acronym that stands for Engineer in Training. This designation is often referred to as EIT Certification but it can be used interchangeably with EIT license or EIT FE certification. The EIT certification authority is each individual state's engineering board. While an EIT certification doesn't give you a license to practice as a professional engineer, holding this certificate signifies that you have successfully completed the FE exam, the first of the two exams that you'll need to pass in order to become a PE. Becoming an EIT is worth it for most engineers, but it's essential for those planning to take the NCAAS PE exam and become fully licensed professional engineers. You are not eligible to take the PE exam without first passing the FE exam and thereby earning that EIT status. Furthermore, having an EIT certification can be required for even some entry-level engineering positions. The certification can also help set you apart from other candidates in a competitive job market. So yes, you need to pick up your trophy after you win the race. In fact, most state boards will ask you to provide a copy of the EIT certificate with your PE exam application. My state did. Now, if you're still up in the air about pursuing your EIT altogether, let's look at some other benefits of you earning your EIT certification. An EIT certification showcases your industry knowledge. Passing the FE exam and earning that EIT certificate is really a huge milestone in your career and it does demonstrate your competence with fundamental engineering concepts that every graduate should know. An EIT certification really improves your job prospects. Having that EIT certificate on your resume will set you apart from other candidates when you apply for jobs. It shows employers that you are committed to learning and are working towards that professional engineering license. And when I interviewed engineers, I was looking for that EIT. Now, many people also ask me if getting an EI certification will increase their salary. Earning an EIT certification may increase your salary depending on your employer and your industry. Most civil engineers view passing the FE exam at the beginning of their careers as a requirement because it is so important in their field. Most employers in the civil field will not promote engineers until they have passed the FE exam and earned an EIT certificate. So if you're eyeing a promotion with a higher salary in the civil engineering field, earning the EIT status is critical. For other engineering disciplines, such as mechanical, electrical, or chemical, Passing the FE exam is not typically required prior to employment. In fact, some employers may value an EIT certificate more than others. However, earning an EIT certificate, again, demonstrates your mastery of engineering fundamentals and your motivation to advance in your career, which may help you earn a promotion or a higher salary. Again, I looked for that when I was working as an engineer. 
Ultimately, passing the FE exam and earning EIT certification is necessary to become a licensed professional engineer. Once you've completed those steps and you've passed your PE exam, you will likely earn a higher salary as a fully licensed professional engineer. And that salary increase could range anywhere from $2,000 to $10,000 or even more once you've achieved that PE status. One last point I wanna make here. You don't know where your career will take you. So why not obtain your EIT certificate now? It becomes very difficult to go back and pass the FE exam the further you remove from school you get because it has so many technical concepts on the exam. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video, and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a specific question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.